G'day gamers, Gob here. Welcome back to Gob's Quickies. Now today's snapshot day and yet again Mojang has brought out another snapshot being the 20W19A snapshot for the 1.16 Never update. Uh, again, this is a much smaller uh, snapshot with only a few little tweaks and changes uh, which suggests to this little brown duck that 1.16 is getting ever so near. So let's go check it out. Okay, so first things first, one of the things Mo Yang's brought into this uh, snapshot is a new statistic uh, for in-game and it's all got to do with these bad boys. I put my saddle on him I'll sit on you and we're using our fungus on a stick. Yeehaw! We'll ride this bad boy around and we shall have a look at the stat because it is all about how far you have travelled by uh, Strider. Now, while we're at it, one of the tweaks that they've done to the game is they have changed uh, the uh, fact that you can now find blackstone and gravel uh, throughout all the biomes of um, uh, the Never, and as you can see, there's blackstone there, and there's patches of gravel there. So you you don't just have to go to the um, uh, the deltas to find the blackstone; uh, you'll find them scattered throughout. Uh, same with the gravel. Now. They've also changed the uh, soul sand valleys, so, so, uh, so that now you will find patches of soul sand uh, in it. And I don't actually recall that that wasn't the case, but that's one of the patch notes. So happy day! So let's now have a look at our stat for distance travelled by Strider. Okay, so statistics are now alphabetical, which makes it a little bit easy. So distance by Strider and I've done 38, uh, 383.35 meters. Happy days! So there you go, a new statistic. And time to get off you. Bye bye, have fun. Here. Hope you can get the fungus. Don't need your saddle anymore either. Right, so what else have I changed? Let's go and have a squeeze at the next thing. Okay, so the next uh, change that they've done to the game is the Bastion Remnants are now not as frequent. So they're a bit rarer to find. Uh, under the previous snapshot when they were introduced, um, they were a little bit more common. There were a fair few around. Well, now they're not as common, which is probably just fair and reasonable uh, considering uh, the specialness of these uh, these structures. Right, let's go and find a biome. So what they've done is these um, uh, little never sprouts that grow on the ground, a bit like the grass in the uh, the forests, now have to be shorn with shears to get them. And I'm in creative, so I'm not going to actually be getting them. So there you go. Now, a fair few snapshots ago, it was uh, added that... Hey, you two, knock it off. Come on, no skylarking around. I'm trying to do a video here. Oh, um, okay, didn't see that. Um, yeah, previous snapshot, the ability to bone meal the vines in the never, the twisting vines and the weeping vines was added. And from recollection, they grew a substantial amount when you bone milled. Okay, but now see, it's not a substantial, it's only a little bit. But you can still manually cut them down. I really like the fact these ones go up. These ones go down. So let's there we go. And that's another change that have happened in this snapshot. Now for the next one we will go back to the overworld. Gurgle, 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 now that we're back in the overworld, gurgle, gurgle. Another change that they've done is they have made fish their own mob type and they now have their own um, mob cap so they don't interfere with any other type of mob on 
uh, the overworld. Bye bye, bye bye fishies. And the last thing I wanted to discuss, and we'll come to the village and see this little bad boy here, the Iron Golem. In the latest snapshot, uh, they have changed for 1.16 the way Iron Golems spawn. And Golems no longer require villagers to have a profession to spawn. Which makes sense really, you know, the golems are here to protect the village per se, they don't care what professions they are. So if you've got enough villagers and they're scared and uh, they are close enough together, they can spawn a golem to protect them. So it doesn't matter what profession, it doesn't matter the last time they used a profession, it's just if they're scared and they're in danger, the golem will come to their rescue. And that means that the mechanics for our iron golem farms uh, has changed a little bit. Okay, your old iron golem farms should still work in 1.16 of our 1.15 uh, golem farm. It should work in 1.16, but you no longer need the workstation. And that's pretty well it for this snapshot. If you like this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, see all the other videos that I've got available for you. Uh, chuck us a comment, let me know what your favourite feature so far in 1.16 is and when you think it might be coming, because I don't think it's too far away at all. Uh, if you're not a patron of mine, please consider becoming one. Uh, it's always great to have someone supporting your channel and it helps me maintain uh, my uh, server and the patron server which you too can be part of. If you're a patron of myself or any of the other TriCrafters, uh, you can join the TriCraft patron server and be uh, a member and play alongside the TriCrafters and play on Acid Island or Skyblock and have a well of a time. And just frankly, I'm a little bit addicted to Acid Island. Um, it's a lot of fun. But anyway, that's all I've got time for now. Uh, until next time, hooroo! <laughs>